Hello, my name is Kia McKay. I am a freshman at Morehouse College in Applied Physics and Mechanical Engineer major, and this is my documentary, Strolling in AUC. This documentary was a project assigned to me by my English professor, Professor Walker. If you'd like to know more in depth about this project, please click on the link below. With that being said, I pray that you like this video. If so, please subscribe and enjoy. <laughs> Get across attention. It's just a new experience. It's being together, being on the same beat, being one. Uh, stroll is life. It is a form of dancing. An interrupter of my quiet time and sleep. It's an expression. Uh, strolling is a form of dancing. It's... <laughs> you get to share it with either your sisters or your brothers. And you can like express your dance moves. You know, rep their hall and have a good time while doing it. Way to like, you know, meet new people. And you guys dance together in a line. And... Rhythmic movements. A turn up opportunity. One of the greatest things was stepping out of my comfort zone. A group of brothers or sisters get together and having a good time. Bound with your sisters, sisterhood. I really didn't know what strolling was until I got here. So basically, I would say my definition of strolling is just a rhythmic type of dance to express emotion. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into strolling, such as precision, unity, focus, um, energy, energy. All of it, um, but it's just really a way to express emotions. Can't go too hard in the rain, bro. Oh, yeah. Because um, uh, I heard it was the thing to do, especially for freshmen, and um, I'd never done it before, so I did, even if I didn't make the team, I was just trying out was more fun. But um, the reason I did want to stroll is because uh, of a friend of mine, he's an alumnus of, of uh, Du Bois, uh, he's like, you should, yeah, you should definitely stroll. And it's a lot of hype behind stroll, so I was like, yeah, I should definitely give it a try. I strode in order to be able to demonstrate what I'm capable of here in a new environment because I'm originally from Maryland. Um, I love dance and I said that I would just focus on my work once I got here to college. But it just seemed like I couldn't get away from dance so I wanted to be able to involve myself in an activity where dance wouldn't be as much as a time consumption but I was still able to balance dance and work and stroll allowed me to do both things. So. Yeah. Why did I stroll? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I used to come to visit college. I used to visit college campuses a lot in high school. You know, being in DC, I went to go visit Howard a lot. I always used to hear. I used to go to Howard's homecoming. I would hear the music. At least I see the Omegas and the Alphas doing you know, the thing in the line. I'm just like, oh, what's this? I like this. I like what they do. I came to Morehouse to visit last year quite a few times and all my friends that stayed here at Du Bois Hall, they took me to Hump Wednesday, randomly one day, one Wednesday, and then, you know, the music came on, we, we had a fun with jazz, you know, the music came on, and then, um, they started strolling. And I saw how precise, how powerful the moves was, and how they, you know, grabbed the crowd's attention. They instantly won favoritism among everyone else because they did it. I was just like, yo, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to do that when I come here next to you. Well, I actually really wanted to join the stroll team, but I was actually on uh, the HH court, and that took up a lot of time with the stroll team. I personally didn't stroll because I missed the practice, and I didn't know when the deadline was, and nobody tell me. And I ain't turned the papers in, so that's why I ain't stroll. I got cut from the team, so. I have enough energy for it, that's what he told me. 
uh, I tried out like mahogany, not about that life. Too long practice, have a lot of other stuff going on, and that dancing, mm, it's not for me. I did not show because I did not have time. Between Bonner and dance theater, I didn't have time. I know some girls on dance theater did stroll, but I also had Bonner to deal with, so I couldn't take care, take advantage of the opportunity and dedicate to it the way I would have wanted to. And I don't do anything unless I can commit to it at least 100%. So that's why I didn't stroll. Did you want to stroll? I did. And honestly, like when my um, sisters, my Bonner sisters were strolling, I like would be learning the strolls. I know almost all of them, actually. I could slick pretend I was on the stroll team if nobody knew better. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> I'll say this much. Don't uh, Not that I can't pull girls on my own. But oh, come on now. Come on. The stroll team, I would say the stroll team did add some brownie points, I would say. <laughs> so to speak. I mean, they did get our, our name and our faces out there that we weren't seeing before. And then us being Brazil Hall, so smooth. They're smooth Hall, so I mean, mm, it is what it is. <laughs> Girls come anyway. This is be real. Go we'll say exactly what he said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we get up. I'm not gonna lie, like. Um... <laughs> Um, I know a lot of girls that did, um, actually, specifically one of my really close friends I ended up talking to my cousin, because he was, he's like legacy for Du Bois, uh, stroll team, made up a lot of their strolls, and one of the girls that was in my stroll team ended up talking to him. So, a lot of people did do it to talk to dudes, but I wasn't the sexiest person on my stroll team, so I wasn't worried about that. I just want to get out here and dance, and if a dude look at me and he cute, then it is what it is, but that's not what I did it for. Oh, I feel like Kelly Rowling. You ain't got to tell me twice. Like, I'll be killing it. That's it. When it's time that's to true. stroll, it's time to stroll. Yeah, I'm like, I gotta go to eat. So she really thinks that she's Kelly Blue. No, I don't think, guys. I know. It's okay. All right. <laughs> when I'm strolling, I feel like I am untouchable. Um, I feel like it's just me against the world. No one can ever take that talent away from me when I'm strolling. I feel like... I just feel like I'm in a whole nother dimension. Like, it's just a whole new world, a whole new world. Um, I'm just able to demonstrate my individuality and my talents and enjoy what I love to do. Well, for me, like, doing it, like, while, like, we're in the process or whatever, like, it's like, it takes me to a whole, like, different level, like, when we did stroll, like, the first time we did, like, I just felt like we was on a, a deeper understanding of each other, like, I don't know, like, I just felt like we was all in sync, and, like, I just feel like it happened so fast, like, you just be, like, in the moment or whatever. It's real deep in me, like it's really, it's real deep in me. Do I see strolling as beneficial to the AUC? I think so. I think it builds a bond between brothers and sisters in a, in a freshman hall um, that is something that they'll keep all throughout their years here at Morehouse, even if they go on to become a part of a fraternity or a sorority, they will always remember their freshman stroll team. And so I think that's something that's very powerful. Uh, the brothers in Du Bois that I still talk to to this day who are on the stroll team, we still have a close bond, um, but nothing like the bond they have with those that they strolled with. It's that it allows people who necessarily might not have spoken to each other to interact on a daily level. Um, become closer as not only friends but brothers. They learn to depend on each other um, physically and also just structurally as a team. It builds teamwork. Um, it builds a sense of community. If you come here and you don't necessarily um, assimilate and acclimate to the culture of Morehouse or AUC in general um, on your own. And I think, yeah, that's probably the best thing about Charlotte. Okay. I feel as if since we're on the show team, people look to us to represent the hall uh, in different places we go, especially like Hot Wednesday when they're playing music. It's like, oh, where's Brazil? Oh, is Brazil going to stroll? Oh, some stuff like that. So I thought it was pretty cool how, like, you know, we would look to really put the hall out there. Um, I think it's good, especially as a freshman. When you stroll your freshman year, 
you surely want students that are going through the same transition you are. And so it's nice that you guys get to do something at the end of the day together or to start you guys' day whenever practice is and share that and kind of grow with each other. Um, I got to know a lot of different people just from strolling, especially being an ace. Uh, I've got in contact with a lot of different people and a lot of different uh, other aces as well. So it's, 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 a, it's a great benefit. Yeah, I mean, like, I met, like, we got to see, like, the alphas and stuff like that of, like, Clark. So it was really cool to hang out with them, and they gave us some pointers for strolling. And then um, we had, like, a couple, like, upperclassmen that were our stroll coaches, coaches come back and, like, talk to us. So now when we see them all the time, like, we're able to talk to them before I would have never said anything to them. So it's a very alum, they stayed in Brazil. Um, it was just, we, we just made more friends. Like, instead of, like, we, we knew people outside of the freshman class, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, cause it's always cool to know, like, people that are older than you, because they can pull strings for you and they make those connections. Those are people that really can help you out. So I thought that was cool. I have friends that I dab up now walking down the street. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, what's up, coach? What's up? You know, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then since HH is just so broad, there are so many people that are all over the place. Like, uh, Miss Marina White was actually my stroke coach. Um, and then Miss Spellman, last year, Afton Lane, that was my Spellbound sister and my stroke coach. So it was just, like, I did network with a lot of people. I know a lot of AKAs from that. I know a lot of Deltas and uh, all of that from that. Um, so, yeah, I networked a lot. And it was, yeah, I did. You know, when you become in a part of uh, somewhat of an in inclusive group, you form bonds and connections with other individuals that, you know, um, it's a brotherhood within a brotherhood within a brotherhood in, in a sense um, that you're always forming new bonds, you know, new connections with teammates and, you know, stroke members. And it's an experience that you all share. So it's something else that you can connect with. Being on the stroll team is another reason for us to get even closer. So it's not just, you know, she is Sarah who stays on the third floor. She's actually, you know, Kanji and she strolls with me. She stands behind me. I know she has my back when we're facing the whole AUC dancing and, and strolling together. It's a close relationship and it's more reason to actually have a closer new relationship with friends and stuff here. So Sisterhood Doing Stroll Team, we basically bonded on a level of not just in practice. We would eat together, we go out to eat, we have sleepovers. Um, we would all sit in the dorm and just talk. Like um, I still talk to a lot of them today, so it was more like we connected on a level that was more intimate than any other person because we spent so much time together during practices and outside of practices so that we could be better in practice. So we ended up knowing a lot about each other and we fuss and we fight just like any other family. But at the end of the day, I got my sister's back and she got mine. late practices was the only downfall because we had the latest practice of all the stroll teams so you had to get your work done before or you would just be up all night so that was the only downfall however I do believe that strolling does somewhat distract some of the freshmen from some of their other activities or some of their other um, I guess priorities as far as school or academics are concerned I do also think while it does allow students um, a sense of brotherhood or community, it also promotes an, a sometimes unhealthy sense of competition or tension. I think the biggest con about strolling would probably happen through the cutting process. I think a lot of people don't make the final team because they don't have the skill, but I think the people that typically get cut don't come from backgrounds where they have strolled or that they've had exposure to strolling. So I think overall, the biggest downfall is that it kind of excludes some people. So a con of strolling is the animosity that can develop through the competition of stroll off and just competing at Hope Wednesday and different events. The girls get very competitive and sometimes get ugly. At our freshman step show, 
I dislocated my right stro my right shoulder strolling and had to be sent to the emergency room. Basically, this is the first year of Spelman trying to change things up and instead of having alumni coaches who are sophomores and like juniors help us out and coach the teams, they have freshmen coach their peers. So basically like we filled the application, went to a couple meetings and then we were coaches, kind of like just got thrown into it. Um, it's been real fun. It's been stressful though because it's like we're all in the same boat. Nobody's ever strolled at Spelman before. And strolling at Spelman is like, it's a craft. And if you do it wrong, you get keyed real fast. So, and keying is like booing. So, you get keyed real fast. So, I don't know specifically what happened, but I know as of now, um, the people that are over us and that are in charge of stroll and anything like student related didn't really like how we um, were running stroll. So they made it so that it was more, I guess, family oriented or sisterly involved or whatever. So they made it so that the freshmen were the ones that were the coaches. But the thing about that is, if you're coaching someone and you've just gotten into it, regardless of whether you dance or you were the cheerleading coach or cheerleading captain or all of this, when you get to Spelman and like his stroll is a completely different atmosphere, completely different type of dance than it was when you were in high school so for you to come and try to coach is just really difficult to try to coach something that you've never really seen before. I mean, this year was just so difficult just to do stroll period because you know I feel like last year's class ruined it for us Ooh, in wait. a way. I don't care I'm gonna say this because there was so many things that were banned so like we had to basically start all over you know. So, make it look, make the accident look like something good, all right? All right, <laughs> whatever you're doing, teach it to me. Whatever you're doing, teach it to me. What? I'm going to let it. Like I said, strolling wasn't a big thing to me as a freshman. Um, but this year when I came back, especially as being an RA in Brazil, um, I kind of wanted them, because it was something that I was a part of, something that I had, had seen, something that, you know, my name was attached to. I take being a Brazil Hall alumni pretty seriously, just as any other uh, man in Morehouse does, is our freshman halls are serious to us, but at the same time, um, it, it, it makes you want, it makes you, it makes you want to, it gives you a sense of pride. Cause it's like, man, all right, they they hold me down. Those 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 new freshmen, the little guys, the those young guys, they hold me down. They're doing what it is they're supposed to be doing. They're representing me. They're representing the dorm. It, it makes you want to. It gives you a sense of pride with them. But at the same time, that same sense of pride can cause disappointment when you don't see the stroll teams doing as good as they did your year, or not taking it as seriously as they could, or just not upholding the reputation that you felt like your your freshman hall had when you did. The class of 2016 is kind of out there, so it was really, really interesting to see how they dance, regard like in relation to how we dance. So they were more sensual and more deep, and like we were more aggressive and more like, "What's up?" So um, after I chose a team and started to see how they like meshed with each other, it was just amazing. Like the the team was bomb. Like the team was really, really good. So I was like, they're my babies. And I still say it all the time, look at my babies. So I enjoy every new generation of the boys coming out, um, learning how to stroll, um, seeing the expressions of their faces when they find out what strolling is and how it's kind of like embedded into the culture here at the AUC that they will soon become a part of. Um, it's another reason why I continue to come back and reapply to be an RA in the freshman hall in particular. Um, new experiences and I, you know, just here to help mold, mold and cultivate um, the next generation of the boys. Uh, when we strolled together, and I wouldn't even call it uh, strolling, when we hopped together, 
um, is extremely different from what it is that they do. What we do has, not to say that it doesn't have, uh, not to say that the freshman Stroll teams don't have meaning behind them because I'm sure Stroll teams are precious to uh, to people to participate. My profiles still go back and still stroll with their dorms, but it's definitely a difference because when you stroll as a member of a Greek letter organization, the strolling comes, it's, it means so much more than just a stroll. It's the tradition that's passed down with it. For freshman hall strolling, I think it's a good way to get involved freshman year here at Morehouse College. I think it's a good way uh, to express yourself, and I feel like anybody who's interested should do it. One of the reasons I think freshmen like to stroll is to be noticed by Greeks and things like that. Uh, I did it freshman year, so I mean, I really can't say too much about it. So. I don't see any issues with freshmen strolling. I mean, giving them a chance to express themselves. For me personally, um, I work a lot during the week, so when I am when I am able to stroll amongst my brothers and whatnot, it's a way for me to, you know, just cool off and just really enjoy myself. So I understand that freshmen want to stroll, let them stroll. I would say from stroll, the AUC does benefit only because it's something that brings us all together. The AUC really needs something. Uh, this is the one thing I would say brings the AUC together. I haven't really seen much that pulls Spellman, Clark, and more else together besides the stroll team and what the stroll has to do to stroll off. Um, we put on all these other events to try to get a connection with Clark and a better connection with Spellman, but the stroll team has been the biggest so far that I've seen. Yeah. I think it is a benefit because even though, like, um People stroll from different halls. I feel like it is a way to bring everyone together, even if you stay in different places, because that's a commonality between different halls. I think more than anything, especially during the first and second semesters here in the AUC, strolling is what brings um, the crowds. It's what brings people out of their rooms. It's what builds prides across halls throughout all three campuses. Um, more than anything, I believe that as Hall alum, a lot of alums come back to their respective freshman halls and they want to be a part of the Stroll team or they want to be Stroll team coaches. So I think it builds unity and community not only for interaction within halls but within the entire schools that you see. Yeah, I think it brings the AUC together, especially since it's not just at Spelman and Morehouse, it's at Clark Atlanta too. And so it's kind of like, it's something that we all have in common and we all do it for similar reasons and we all share it with each other, whether it's a rivalry or if it's your sister um, stroll team or your brother stroll team. It's something that brings us all together. Honestly, I think it's a slick way for people to uh, <laughs> to club dance and get away with it. But um, it's like it is fun and it is competition. But some people act like strolling is I don't even know, like running for president or something. Everyone always like um, gravitates towards people that are strolling. It's just something that you want to watch, and it's something that people can do to have fun but like in a positive way it's not like you're just going out to turn up with people you're going out to perform and i think people love that in the uc people love performing people love performers so i think that's why it's a big deal a big deal in the auc is because everyone hypes it up um, because there is so much competition amongst different halls or different organizations um, that it, it's embedded into the auc culture What's the big deal on strolling the AUC? 
Um, I think it's based all on exclusivity. Um, originally, I believe like the Greeks could only stroll, and so you know people want to belong, be a part of something. Um, so when stroll came around, only a select number of people could actually be a part of stroll team. So it's kind of looked at as like, dang, whoa, like I can't really do that. It's such a big deal in the AEC because Greek Greek life is such a big deal in the AEC. Greek life. Um, it's different here in the AEC than it is anywhere else. Um, it's kind of the main focus. Um, it's it's kind of like, to some people, some people would say like that's, uh, especially here at Morehouse and Spelman, um, that that uh, Greek life is, I guess, coming apart, a member of a Greek organization is one of the highest achievements you can kind of have here. I think in the AUC, be, becoming Greek um, is a huge deal. I've heard a statistic that about 75% of students in the AUC want to become Greek. And I feel as freshmen, they are allowed to take part in this activity without having any uh, fraternal allegiance. So I feel it's a way for them um, to do some of the fun stuff that they believe a fraternity or sorority does. People tend to use stroll as a segue to get into Greek life. So if you're really interested in Greek life or if that's like a passion of yours, then that's kind of a way for you to get set out. Uh, when you get to the AUC, because it's kind of like a stepping stone, so you stroll and then you step and then you go Greek. It's such a big deal in the AUC because um, here we hold the Greek life culture to a much higher standard than any other institution. I feel like uh, strolling is seen mostly by Greeks, and freshmen want to emulate those Greeks, and they would like to stroll and to be seen. Uh, and well, that's kind of it. I don't think it's anything, it's not that big. Strolling in the AUC, gonna ask you a few questions. Mm -hmm. Mr. House, you wanna get Kirk? Bro, I don't care, I just need somebody. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna get you Kirk. Where at where Abby we are going. Hey, that's just how it looks. Documentary at all. Um strolling. Strolling life. Yeah, you have to leave. Yeah, we're, you have to leave. Thank you. Oh, I couldn't. There wasn't no question after that. No. Roll the tape. <laughs> what? I got something else to say. Oh, what? That's it. Root to the birds. Thank you. My man Keon, he was on the WB the Wars International Hall. Represent Omaha, Nebraska. Shout out to him. That's all I got. I don't know much about the show. Represent. Definition of strong. You have to ask him. No. <laughs> Alaska? Wow. I'm from Nebraska. Nebraska? Yeah. So see, you see how we get the same reaction? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> okay, yeah. um. I'm like, wait, what else am I missing? Okay, just say your name. Alright. Can't go too hard or not? You still recording? Fuck the mother, Nick. Fuck the mother, Nick.